I want to take a minute and point something out to you that I never saw coming. But when I actually dig deep, it's a lot more realistic than you think. Hey folks, Marsikowax here, and on Monday, we like to kind of start things off relatively simple in our weeks and stuff, you know, not go too heavy, but th th this came up to my attention over the last couple of days, and I wanted to share it with you because how is it even possible? I do loads of what ifs about weird scenarios, but even I didn't think of this, even though Realistically, when you actually boil it down, it makes perfect sense, and I can explain to you today the meme as to why Popeye and Goku are a thing. This isn't some kind of random bit of fan fiction. This is the official Popeye Twitter account sharing this and going ham on it. So, for those of you who don't know what Popeye is, this is Popeye the Sailor Man, Started off in 1929, basically, created by EC Sega. I used to watch the actual cartoons when I was younger. I mean, not when they literally came out, but when it was on Cartoon Network and stuff like that. I found it pretty, pretty funny. And hey, hey, hey. Oh, by the way, Popeyes is actually in London now. And uh, I really should check that out. Lanny keeps going on about it. This picture. Oh, yeah, boys and bees, by the work me fans create, and sometimes, like, now I'm just blown away. <laughs> Your power is over 9,000 for sure. <laughs> Mr. Krabs, it, it, it was based on... <laughs> People took this, um, at, uh, at face value. By the way, it was Marcus Williams, Marcus the Visual, who came up with the original artwork, and I'll explain a little bit in context as to where this actually came from, and why is this a thing. I, I just gotta get closer in on this. Goku, Popeye, you just like... Why? N not, not just why is this a thing, but why did I not think about this before? Because this makes so much sense. And I'll provide you some explanations for this. So this actually comes from Marcus Williams' own little fan fiction called Dragon Ball Plus Popeye World Breakers. And already that sounds like a very Dragon Ball worthy title. And it's all to do with a thought process that Marcus Williams had. From what I can actually gather from the Know Your Meme page and Marcus Williams' own Facebook page is while watching a few Dragon Ball videos for nostalgic reasons, I spawned this merger idea called Dragon Ball Plus Popeye World Breakers. Since I voice Goku, I should know. Yeah, they both live for battle. Mm -hmm. They both use green snacks to replenish energies. This is a sense of being, but I don't like broccoli and spinach, though. I had a bad experience with broccoli once. Never again. And both are fathers and husbands that would do anything to protect their family. Debatable. I mean, you know, G G Goku likes to put them through the ringers every now and again, I will admit. And fourth one is both are crazy dangerous when pushed to do the impossible. Yes, that is very much true. That is, of course, very true. A healthy sparring session between two powerhouses most likely left their surrounding littered with meteor sized holes everywhere. More to come. Yeah, well, there clearly is more to come. I'll share with you not just this picture, there is more. So, speaking in my own opinion about this idea, like, Popeye and Goku, and the fact that the Popeye Twitter account picked up on it. I think this is just a commentary for the entire thing, what is social media. But I'm all for it. I mean, quite frankly, on social media, it's all gotten really depressing and really bleak. Sometimes you just need a random bit of fan fiction to come into your life and just say, hey, you want to see a very impossible but actually logical idea about two characters crossing over, and you don't want Disney to do it? Well, uh, there. There, there you go, that, that you, you got that. So, yeah, it just makes so much sense. I mean, I, I'm just surprised I didn't think up of this, quite frankly. It's just like, wow, Popeye, Goku, they're both really, really strong. Yeah, they can power up. I mean, it's not quite true. The Sensu Beans are there to heal you, yeah, but I don't really want to get into semantics, quite frankly, because spinach, that's me being really, really pedantic, and I don't want to be pedantic. This is one of the types of content, just go, just be quiet and enjoy it. Now, this wasn't the only one I wanted to share with you, because Marcus Williams did more. And by the way, this isn't a brand new artwork. As you can see, this was done in 2020. So back in May, the original post that Marcus Williams did to his Facebook page, here is the more. Because this is not just Goku, we've got... <laughs> we've got olive oil. And wearing old navy gear, what? 
I haven't seen these. I, I saw the Goku Popeye one, but I know they did more and I glanced at them briefly, but I haven't actually just stopped to look. And this is what, you know, people wanted for Chi Chi. And this is just very much Chi Chi. And the parallels are just getting even more so. You got Goku Chi Chi, Popeye and Olive Oil. Wow. That's, uh, that's, that's crazy good. Yeah, you got the power-ups there. You got all the artwork and the, the swishy lines for the hair. That's actually really cool. And the light work on the lightning. That's implying Super Saiyan 2. That, that's me putting on my Dragon Ball Anorak there for a moment. But And the fact that Olive Oil has got ink on her? Wow. Okay. I know that Popeye was trying to reinvent itself for 2022. But this is like a whole other level. Woo! Wow! How many people in the comments like olive oil now? I mean, I like olive oil in my cooking and stuff like that, but I mean, this is just a whole other level, quite frankly, and uh, this is not how I was going to be expecting for my Monday. I'll just say that. The next one is, uh... <laughs> yes! Oh yes! Lord Frieza! And Brutus. Quite frankly, you are much more interesting than that Nappa person. It's like, oh, that, that's just, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty special. I mean, quite frankly, he's more intimidating than Vegeta when you first see him. I mean, like, wow. So, uh, what's the caption? I, what's the caption that goes with it? Another piece. Why not? So, he probably, the, the Twitter account, so this has got 57,000 likes and 10,000 retweets. So, quite frankly, whoever is in charge of the social media account for Popeye just went, you know, um, let's just do more. And now you've got Freezer walking in as part of the Popeye World Breakers fan fiction series. I need to actually look up more about this. Maybe I'll do that in a second. But either way, Freezer's walking in with Brutus as his sidekick. That, that, that's just great. <laughs> that's just great. I love this. This is just so funny. And speaking as a what if creator, this makes a lot of sense when you actually step back and look because brutus and popeye they are rivals goku vegeta the parallels are there so marcus you've done your homework this makes sense and popeye social media account guy you you capitalized on this at the right time because i saw media press about popeye reinventing itself for more stuff and uh, what if <laughs> great oh That that's a uh, uh, that's a very uh, okay. That's a very um, unfortunate positioning of the arms there, Popeye. Just uh, be careful where you put it, there, pal. I've had nasty accidents about that once. Once Popeye learning the Kamehameha. What if indeed? And again, part of this World Breakers fan fiction idea, but yeah, Popeye just continues on with it. So. It's not the most outrageous, but realistically, that is cool. That is a really cool visual, and hey, Master Roshi doing something that isn't lecherous. Who'd have thunk it? Next one. I think this might be the last one. No, there's there, there's a couple more, but this one is Marcus Williams, and oh, I think that's an older version of Sweet Pea. <laughs> You got Trunks and Goten and not Popeye Jr. Not the Popeye and Son TV series. This is a different one. So I think this is Sweet Pea. Just a grown up version of it. I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. But either way, it's Popeye's kid training with Goten and Trunks. And that that's a it's a little bit of a mix up with the uh, future Trunks Gi. But hey, why not? It's capture called. They can make whatever they want. Dang it. But either way, that's, a, that, that's pretty cool. Just standoff thing. And the last one is... Oh, you actually get Vegeta and Olive Oil, so okay. I don't know why Capsule Corp and Old Navy are together. I don't get that. Is there some kind of reference to that? But either way, Vegeta does exist, even though Bluto is in a thing. I'm guessing maybe Bluto's Napper instead, but Vegeta is in here. So you got Vegeta and Olive Oil right there. And again, it looks really, really cool. But I think, oh, what was the caption again? Let's see. Oh, he is a natural olive. Popeye respecting his lady. Which is more than can be said for Goku with Chi Chi. So, you know, that's where they don't have things in common, quite frankly. And, uh, I, I, uh Popeye, you, you, you're, you're a good gent. Goku and Popeye, this was the, this was the image that sailed a thousand internet meme ships. And, honestly, I'm all for it. 
it makes perfect sense and it looks really, really appealing. Just Popeye has to sink a couple of cans of spinach in before training with Goku and it's never been quite said how long it takes for that to wear off, but Popeye, that was a thing, blew my mind, but at the same time it also made me nod ahead and go like, yeah, yeah, you know what, that actually is something that could happen. What ifs are quite, quite bizarre, but maybe in the fullness of time this could be actually something I explore, but either way, do check out Marcus Williams' art, Marcus the Visual, I'll give the Twitter accreditation, the page right here, so go and give them a look for the original artwork, and I'm pretty sure that he's blown up right now because of this, but also the, the artwork is legit cool, I actually took a look at this before recording, so it was actually really cool. Popeye fan art, fan fiction, and Dragon Ball. 57,000 likes, kudos to you for picking this up, whoever is in charge of the Twitter account. This is the official one, by the way. It's even got the verification check mark and everything, so this isn't the fake one. Uh, quite clearly, uh, yeah. Oh, that's an that's another little one. So apparently, uh, this might be something that is gonna spread. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's more coming. So is there gonna be more incoming? I just gotta like do a quick scan of the replies. Is there anything in here? Just briefly. Well, it did reply to a couple of them. I I think I, I may have lost it. So yeah. Oh, what if Goku, what if Goku ate spinach? I can do that. So, <laughs> they're embracing this. I love this. This is great. Just <laughs> brilliant. People like this a lot. This is one of the few memes and crossovers that people actually don't detest in the majority. So, you know, maybe I better tackle this. So, you know, got to keep up with the memes and all that stuff. Hope you enjoyed this little showcase. I just wanted to bring this to your attention because, hey, I'm a what-if guy who does impossible things. I am trying to work on a Joseph Joestar Goku what-if crossover, but maybe I might work on that with Sea Dog or something like that. Connor. So he knows his Jojo. So I want to like double check in. I know Joseph Joestar's his favorite. Either way, hope you're all doing really well. Hope you enjoyed this and I will see you again very soon for a future video. Until then, catch you later.